All right, how to beat a 2-3 matchup zone, okay? Antoine Miller, Camden Elite. Um, I just wanted to go over um, what I choose to do against a 2-3 matchup zone, all right? A lot of teams, especially in New Jersey, again, where I coach high school basketball, um, when they can't guard an offensive team or the team is too athletic or they don't have a deep bench, they choose to go zone, all right? This team chose to go matchup zone against us. Um, in a matchup zone, it looks just like a man-to-man. -man. It looks just like a man-to-man. -man. That's what makes it so hard to um, to beat, basically, to beat. It makes it really hard to beat. Um, so you need it. You either got two ways to beat it, in my opinion. Um, you either have a lot of moving parts on offense, you know, to try to tell if it's a, a, a zone or a man-to-man -man, um, in order to run your stuff, or you just screen it, all right? We chose to just screen it. I'm not a coach that's in the... Um, making life hard for me. Um, I, I want things to be easy, right? So we were gifted enough to have uh, a really good offensive scorer this year and Tyrese Myrick, um, and we just put him in an inside pick and roll on one of their defensive weaknesses, all right? And as you'll see, it broke down the whole defensive scheme, and eventually they had to go man to man all right, which is our main goal for them to do, all right? So um, I just want you want to show you a couple clips of what we did um, against their matchup zone. All right. So to start, um, this is sort of just a teaching point for um, all coaches and uh, and just players in general. Um, don't let zones look like rocket science to you. Like what I mean by that is a lot of kids, you come and see somebody in the zone and you act like you don't know what to do at all. Like you can't attack the basket anymore, like you can't move the ball, like you can't reverse it. Um, like it's this foreign defense that you've never seen. Still attack the gaps. All right. Still attack the gaps. Still exchange on the back, as you see these two players do once this player with the ball drives. All right. You still can get in gaps. Remember, the whole premise of a zone is to make you shoot. All right. And to not let you be athletic. Right. But you don't want to do that. You still want to you still want to get in these gaps because most of these zones are elaborate. All right. The team that we're playing in Camden Catholic, they do a really good job of disguising their zone and playing it well. But as you see, they had a breakdown here. All right. Now, did the guy with the basketball score right away? No, but it led to a basket. Why? Because the guy with the basketball broke down the defense here initially, as you see. Defense has to start scrambling, ball getting moved around, you get an open shot. All right, so that's just a teaching point before we get started into the highlights um, about what you'll do. Okay, so again, as you see, it looks like a man to man. It really does at times look like a man to man. It's really hard to beat. All right, so what we did is we said, screw it. We're just going to set screens, okay, and go at their weaknesses and win our um, individual matchups. All right, again, Tyrese Myrick, one of the best scorers in New Jersey last year, averaged a little over 20 points a game. Um, we wanted to get him in space. That's, it's, it's really that simple. We wanted to get him in space and let him create. All right, so that's what he did here. As you'll see when I start the video, he had a nice little in and out dribble to set the defender up to make the ball screen easier for the guy that's setting it for him, which is very important, guys, with the basketball. You got to be able to set these guys up first in order to get where you want to get. All right. But the main thing that I am um, want to discuss in this um, image is look at the green guys. Look at the guy in the middle. That's the arrow on. He really he's really not going to know what to do because he's not posed to step out here and stop the basketball. Right. He's really in zone. He's not in man. So this screen hurts the guy, the def defender with the um, defending the basketball and the big man. All right. Look at the bottom guy. What's my job? All right. Because he is in zone. All right, do I go with him, the guy that's going to the opposite corner? Do I stay here? I'm not really sure what to do. All right, that's why overloading the zone, all right, and screening the zone is so important. All right, good job by Tyrese in the offense right here. Set him up, open shot, bam. All right, you want to go at this weakness. We want to go at the weakness of the defense. All right, so next time down. All right, so we just flipped the sides, right? We just ran the same thing, flipping the sides. Um, I'm going to do a video about this. I like to overload the back side um, for reasons like this. All right, so as you see, Tyrese with an in and out uh, dribble just to set the guy up. All right, Tyrese knows he want to go right off the screen and roll. The guy doesn't. 
All right, so he sets him up, makes the screen easier for the guy setting it. Again, I can't stress this enough, guys, that um, it's ball dominant. You got to set the defender up first, all right, in order to use these screens properly. All right, Tyrese does a great job of that. But again, look at the guys in the green. All right, look at the big man. What should I do? Should I come out and stop him? Should I hedge it? Should I show? I'm not sure because I am in the zone, right? Look at the guy behind him in the corner. Who the heck is he guarding, right? This is why overloading the zone is so important. And I don't know why more coaches isn't doing it, but just make the game easier for you. Overload it so you can see exactly what the defense is doing. Right now, I know exactly what the defense is doing. I know they're in zone, right? There's no disguising it because I put three guys on the backside of it on offense, right? So they show me their whole, their whole hand. So next time down, I know what to do, all right? And again, you see Tyrese Myra comes off and he's, he's, just, he's just great after that. Just make it easy. Just win your one-on-one -on -one matchups and make it easy. All right. So right here, again, they're still in the zone. All right. You, you, you see them kind of attached to guys, look like it's a man, but no, it's a zone. Right. But it goes back to what I said in the, um, in the first segment. All right. We can't be afraid to attack these gaps. Look at these gaps. They're huge. Right. I, the best the best defensive teams are going to have breakdowns sometimes and sometimes they're not but you got to see first right you got to attack it and see first all right not just throw the ball around on the perimeter and shoot away threes no we want to get in these gaps and use our god-given ability right Tyrese did that you know a very smart player nobody came to help and you see the result All right, so right here. Um, so sometimes what I did with Tyrese this year, um, and I, I I would advise a lot of coaches to try to do the same. If you got a, a a guy that can handle the basketball well on a perimeter and score well on a perimeter, but it's really strong, um, put him in a post, especially against a zone, right? Because it does a couple things. Um, it gets him closer to the basket, obviously, right? You know, in high school, your best players are um. Good, good defensive coaches are going to collapse to him, right? They're going to bring as many people to the ball to stop them on the perimeter as possible. All right, so that's three, four, five guys possibly that he got to go through to get to the basket. That's too much, all right? If you put him in a post, um, it's a lot less chance you could do that. It's a lot less chance you could do that, okay? Um, so that's what we did here. And as you see, I put win matchup, right? Sometimes, again, especially against a team like this that we're going against, where um you can really get confused with their matchup zone you got to win individual matchups is it, it, that is that is that simple right you you as a coach you got to put them in a position where they have an individual matchup but um players got to win individual matchups all right it's that simple so we put Tyrese on the baseline where as you see for a second it's him and the defender you know nobody's helping it's just him and the defender and he got to win and he he won the matchup this time around Okay, so right here, um, this this is the second half of the game, right? We haven't seen this the entire game. You got a guy pressed up on Tyrese, right? Man and man, all right, man and man. Regardless if the defense is playing zone in the back, it really doesn't matter right now. We got a guy away from the box, away from that two three area, guarding um our man this high up. We won. We won. We, we, we did our purpose, right? We got him out of zone, or we at least we got a man out of zone, right? So what does that do? That opens more driving lanes for us, which is what we want, all right? So that's that's part of the reason why I did this initially, right? I could have just moved the ball. I could have just ran a traditional zone offense, a 1-3-1 offense, but no. I want to get them out of man. If I could do it while scoring, that's great, all right? But I want to put the pressure on that coach that I'm coaching against to either be stubborn and stay in it or eventually get out of it. All right. Either way, I look at it like we win. Right. And we won. So as you see, bam, they're in man and man. So look, we still go on pick and roll. 
we getting it right to the guy that we want to go at. Right to the big man that we want to go at. And Tyrese goes by him and, you know, another basket. All right. Like I said, either way we win. All right. So the last segment right here. Um, and this is very important um, as a coach, right? So um, if you're a high school coach and you have a good score, right, but you lack uh, other really um, high volume scores, right, you, you have to get creative with your offense, okay? So you, you, you know teams are going to scout you for your best player, right, and, and try to stop him totally. So you have to find ways to use him as a decoy. Right. You have to find ways to use him as a decoy because um, it's just going to be it's going to be it's, it's, it's too much pressure for him to just keep scoring and scoring and carrying the load. There's a couple guys on, on this earth that can do it. But I said this earth. Right. <laughs> it's only it's only a couple guys that can do that. You know, most guys are normal and it's going to um, eventually bite you in the butt if you keep trying to do that. So you got to find ways, you know, to. um use him as a decoy in order to get um, other guys easy buckets. So that's what we did right here. So um, Cam the Catholic started denying Tyrese the basketball. All right. So what, what we did is, okay, okay put um, Tyrese in the screen and roll. Make, make him a screener. Right. So now it puts that much more pressure on the defense to either uh, help off of Tyrese or let the guy with the basketball get to the basket. Again, either way we win. Right. We get an open shot attempt or we have you switching off, which I'm assuming this was their best defender, switching off to Tyrese with another defender. All right. Either way, we win, as you see. Right. So the ball handler comes off. Look at that. The guy doesn't leave Tyrese. All right. So now the ball handler has a driving lane or he has a kick. All right. Because the kids from Camden Catholic don't know what to do. Do I leave Tyrese? Do I switch it? What do I do? Okay, this is what you have to try to do to open up the, the floor for the rest of your team. All right, just to give you a better chance to win. Okay, you see, come off, open look, bam. That's simple, guys. All right, so um, in closing, um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you like a matchup zone is just easy to beat as well. Right, if you have personnel, um, that helps a lot <laughs> to beat it, but it's not the easiest thing to beat. OK, so um, from from my experiences, a lot of movement um, and a lot of screening for the basketball. All right. If you got a good offensive score, that's a start. OK, and I'll run it. Just I'll run it so you don't have to deal with it. OK, but that's my experiences with it. Coaches, if you have any more experience with it, I'm still trying to learn it, to be honest, 100 um, percent, because it's 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 tricky. It's tricky, especially when um, it's ran right. All right. So. um Subscribe to the channel, like I said, bottom left-hand corner. Um, if you liked the video, press the like button, hit the share button. Um, comment below if you have experience with the 2-3 matchup zone. All right, we're, again, we're all trying to get better. We're all trying to get better. Talk to you soon, guys.